Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, November 28th, 2018. Happy hump day, everyone. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. We see a nice little bounce here um, off these recent lows. Boom, right? Right back toward 2700, not quite there yet at 2695s. But one thing we started the day with yesterday was this session right here. It was below the previous session's high, and it was showing signs of failed new high. It was showing early signs of rejection, but I mentioned watch for signs of failure of that rejection because of where we are in the chart and where we are on the current cycle low. All of those things looked like it could be a trap, and it could be a, a bear trap that leads us right back up. And so here we are starting a little bit higher. Now, it doesn't guarantee that we start our move back toward 2800, because we got to get through 27, 27, 0, 3, 75 first. But still, this is the very first good move here off these lows. Any shakeout could still be bought for a continuation. Um, but overall, we are in the range. And that range goes basically 28, 25 down to the 26, 25 zone. And that's our range right now. And after coming close to these lows but not quite getting them, and starting to squeeze here, we could see the tide start to change back toward the upside. Uh, one thing we see here is we have one more month left here after the last few days of this week. And basically this month right here, do we see that squeeze that everybody's waiting for or do we not? Even if we do see the squeeze, it may not be, uh, it may not be something that takes us too much higher. It may just take us back to resistance. So again, we've got to temper our enthusiasm here uh, on what an end of year rally may look like if we get one at all. If there's any struggle at 2700 uh, or thereabouts, then again, there's nothing saying that we can't make another trip down here. So just got to continue to watch how it goes. But overall, this thing continues to push higher in the near term, and that could bode well heading into December. Here's a look at the NQ now. You see here very similar price action, only this one rejected the previous month's low and pushed through it. We were seeing signs of a failed new high yesterday morning. I mentioned watch for signs of rejection. We could get as low as 65.80 and still be a buying opportunity for a continuation. And that still remains the case. You know, we could have one big shakeout day, say Tuesday, uh, sorry, Thursday or Friday, that goes boom. But as long as 65.80 holds, we could still be headed higher. So right now, this is a pretty decent uh, bounce that we're seeing. We could easily bring it back towards, say, 7K, somewhere in that zone, and still be just fine. Uh, but it doesn't guarantee that we go higher than that down the road. So again, this is a nice counter trend bounce that we're seeing here. We'll see how far it goes. As long as price can continue to hold 65.80, more upside in the near term is likely to be seen. Here's a look at crude oil. Now, crude had a big turnaround yesterday. Um, again, I would be very, very cautious in crude. We've seen this already. Uh, I mentioned yesterday anything between 52.25 and 52.50 could be a great selling opportunity for a return back down. It got up there to about 52.30s and then dropped two straight handles. But off the lows, bounced off of those previous week's lows and rallied right back again and took out those highs and hit 52.50 and is now turning down. So again, this looks very similar to what we saw over here where we had to drop the rally and then on a midpoint retest it failed and a stop run occurred. Here we are again with a nice rejection here. We have a midpoint retest. Bulls are trying to defend this zone for a continuation. But again, we're starting the day with a failed new high. Any push through that midpoint suggest a stop run day down. We do have crude oil inventories here coming up later on this morning. That could give us a little bit more detail there. But again, if there's any failure to hold uh, the midpoint of the previous session here, that could be pretty significant. Watch 5134 because any push through that zone opens up another stop run day that could look like this or like this or like this. So it could be pretty heated here to the downside if that's the case. Now keep in mind we have a great little two three day range that's formed down here. Very very tight. If there's an ability for price to push through 52 half I think there's a quick push back to 55. 
So that's the LVN to watch. Any failure to get above 52 half opens up much more downside ahead. All right, let's take a look now at gold futures. Uh, I haven't looked at gold here in a while for the pre-market video because we haven't done a whole lot. I was expecting much more for November, but again, the one level that needed to hold failed to hold, which was 1210 to 1216, that pivot low, and it created a sideways month. Uh, and now we have another month with a very narrow pivot range. We have very clear compression that's been developing. This compression could continue to build out like this before we're ready to see a move. But if you look back at the history of gold here over the last year, um, really, since we had the high back over here in September, it's been mostly down. Uh, the one time we had a rally was at the end of the year last year, December, and into the first part of January. That rally actually came out of nowhere. The, the bounce was nice, but it went higher through the very quiet month, uh, quiet weeks of December, and it continued higher. That's the only real time we've seen strength at all in gold. And right now, we're way down here. We're building up. We have a rounded bottom, lots of energy. You see value is now 1227s, whereas before it was 1287s. So now we've shifted value down. And that tells us right here that we're getting closer, perhaps, to that eventual expansion. Is it to the upside? Do we get above the 1250s? Because again, 1362 would likely be the target, 1360 in that case. So down the road, whether it's next month or maybe it starts in January, we could begin to see expansion from this range. Again, a failure through 1180 would be significant, and that would drop this thing back toward 1120. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room.